today I'm whipping up a nice quinoa salad with some grilled chicken, tomatoes, some red onions. I have some spring mix going in there with lots of fresh basil out of my garden. And we're gonna use some feta cheese and my homemade balsamic vinaigrette. Now, if you wanna make this vegetarian, it's easy to do. Just take out the chicken and the feta, add a few other ingredients if you wish, and you're good to go. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. All right, so we're gonna start off with chef joke number one, which means number two will be a little bit later. All right, so here we go. What's the difference between a baby and a salad? Most people don't get angry when you toss a salad. <laughs> so before we start our recipe, I just wanna give a quick shout out to a friend of mine, Dan Marks. Dan, if you're watching this, thank you so much for making us a quinoa salad that we got to enjoy on the beach. It was fantastic and it was the inspiration for this video today, so thanks a lot. I also wanna mention that quinoa is just a powerhouse of nutrition and such a good addition to your diet. It has the highest protein content of any grain and it contains all nine of the essential amino acids, which is really unusual in the plant world. It's also high in magnesium and a good source of manganese, iron, copper, phosphorus, vitamin B12, and a great amount of fiber. So it's great for your diet. Okay, we're gonna start cooking our quinoa because we need to cook that first. It needs to cool before we can add it to a salad, otherwise it'll make all of our greens wilt. So I'm using Bob's Red Mill here, tricolor, organic, I like to use organic. So I'm just gonna make a, a half a cup of this, which will make quite a bit anyway. Uh, so what you wanna do is measure it out, and then we're gonna rinse it. So I'll just pour it into my strainer and run it under some water for about 30 seconds. So you wanna rinse your grains so that you rinse out the bitterness that's in the outer hole. All right, so we'll pour that into a pan. That was a half a cup, and then we're gonna add a cup of water. So your, your ratio is typically uh, one to two, one part quinoa and two parts water. And then we're gonna place this on the stove and bring it to a boil. So bring your quinoa to a nice rolling boil like you see there, and then I'm gonna turn it down, but I want it to still uh, simmer, and we're gonna let that cook until the water cooks down. Now you could follow the, the package directions, which is different than what I'm showing you. Uh, either way works. I just think that this worked out nice, really nicely for me, and it was nice and fluffy and not mushy. So I'm gonna let that cook just like that. Water's gonna evaporate, it's gonna cook down, and I'm gonna continue probably to lower the temperature just a little bit more. I'm on medium low right now, and I'm gonna go probably a little lower, but we'll let that go. So we're gonna continue to cook our quinoa until it absorbs all of the water. Okay, so we're almost there. There's still a little bit more liquid left that I wanna cook out. And then what we're gonna do is we'll turn off the heat, we'll place a lid on this, and let it steam for five to six minutes. Now for our chicken, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs that are organic. This is one of my favorites. And uh, you could use chicken breast if you prefer, but I just love thighs. And I'm just gonna sprinkle and season it up pretty plain, pretty simply, uh, by just some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Feel free to add others, you know, other spices if you like. It's fine with me. So I have a nice cast iron grill pan here. I'll call it a pan, but you could cook this on your barbecue any way you want, really. It doesn't really matter. Just, you know, you just wanna cook it up and get it going. So you can use a frying pan if you, if you like. Now, how do you know when it's hot? Well, I like to just splash a little water on there. It's pretty darn hot. And I'm going to take a little bit of my olive oil and just kind of brush a little bit of oil over the top of this. That way it won't stick too much. And I'm just gonna place these on here, season side down. And then I'm gonna season the second side. A little bit of salt again. A little pepper and garlic powder.
After about 10 minutes or so, we'll flip these over and continue to cook them until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, it's time to test our internal temperature. I really can't recommend these instant read thermometers enough. Get yourself one, you'll love it. All right, it must be time for chef joke number two. So here we go, pay close attention to this one. All right, what do you call a chicken looking at a bowl of salad? A chicken sees a salad. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Okay, so now we have our chicken and our quinoa already cooked and cooling down because we don't wanna mix that with our greens. Like I said, it'll make them wilt. So now, oh, and by the way, if you have a cutting board, I'm gonna start chopping up a little bit of onion and tomato. And if you have a you know, cutting board that kind of slides around, you know, you got a little moving target there, take a damp cloth, even a paper towel would work, and just place it right underneath and it will stick pretty darn good. And you notice I have two cutting boards here, right? I have a wood one, and I use that only for vegetables. Mostly, I, I never cut the meat on it because it's kind of porous and I don't want bacteria to get in there, so that's just for vegetables. And then my white one, which is not porous, is for meat only. Now it's time to cut up a little bit of red onion. So very thinly sliced, as you can see that I'm doing here. And then I'll just give it a little chop, make it a little bit smaller. And you can just toss that in the bowl now, if you like. Next is your tomato. You can use um, cherry tomatoes, work just as well. This just is what I happen to have, so I'm gonna cut this into uh, little chunks. We'll toss that in the bowl as well. This makes a great uh, meal prep kind of dish where you can you know, prep it up in the fridge, put it, uh, put it in Ziploc bags, and keep everything separate, keep your tomatoes separate, keep your onions and your quinoa and your chicken all in separate containers, and then you can just pull it out and toss it in when you need it. Next up is my homegrown basil, and uh, the leaves are fairly small, so you could just toss them in as is if you want. I'd like to cut mine a little smaller, so that's what I'm gonna do. The basil, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good, it's so fresh. And I'll go ahead and toss that in. And then at this point, I'm gonna add some of my greens here, depending on how big I want my salad to be. That looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna give this a toss right now before I add anything else. The chicken has cooled off, so now it's time to cut it into bite-sized pieces. We'll sprinkle that chicken on the salad and then we'll finish it off with our quinoa. Now we'll dress our salad with our creamy balsamic vinaigrette. Now give this a real good toss. So that's our salad. You are gonna love this. It is so delicious. I'm gonna serve some up. We'll sprinkle on some feta and we're good to go. Let's do a taste test. That basil shines through. I love that, the chicken. Everything is just, all the flavors together. So good in that balsamic vinaigrette. You really gotta try that. I'm gonna leave a link for you uh, right over here on the screen, right here at the end of the video, so you can click on it, go over there and make that. It's great for any salad, and especially this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button smash the like button for me if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment. We'll see you next time for another rockin' recipe.